up guys? Today's video is going to be aimed mostly at newcomers. It's going to be a video that explains what products I think you guys should be buying if you're coming new into Force of Will and what awesome products are waiting really really close around the corner if you're still on the edge of if you should buy into it now or if you should get into it later. Um, it's not going to be too long. I'm just going to show off what uh, products that I personally think would help you guys out. Uh, I've personally bought everything, even the stuff that's more aimed for newcomers uh, from forcible standpoint anyway, just because I really like having a place of every card. So if you do have uh, the funds for it, I definitely would recommend having um, just a place of everything. I think the game's still really cheap to kind of get around to that point. It would only cost around uh, five to six hundred. I think in kind of in my like uh, statistical views on what cards are worth anyway. So I think you can get like everything for about five to six hundred for a place of everything. Uh, that might be extremely steep for some people. It might be affordable for some others. I'm in no way saying that everyone should have a place of everything. I think it'd be great if you can, but if you can't, um, don't worry about it. Um, just focus on, you know, your one deck and what you want to play. But these are going to be products that I think really kind of help you get the value back of what you're buying so that you're not, um, you know, spending too much getting into the game and not having anything kind of worth the money you spent. So the reason Faria and Melgus are here is because I do honestly believe that the Alice Cluster uh, dual deck is the best product that Force Will has ever released up to this date. Um, Faria and Melgus are two rulers you get in this dual deck um, for 100% share. I have a box opening on this that I'll put in the box uh, in the description below so you guys can check it out if you're interested. But essentially this box comes with one Faria, one Melgus, and two of each of their regalias. It's worth around $25. It could fluctuate. Um, people have been posting pictures at like Toys R Us for like $40 and everything like that. But your normal, um, just your local game store um, should have it for uh, $25. Uh, we sell it at Core TCG for $25 as well. So um, I can have a link to the product for the, in the description too. Um, so you get two rulers, two regalias. And um, these cards, price-wise, aren't too expensive. Uh, Leviathan is about, uh, I think, three dollars, but you get two of those. That's already about six bucks in value. Excaliburs are one to two. The rulers are about fifty cents because they're everywhere. Um, but that's already around, like, let's say, just seven dollars for what you get so far. So that's eighteen dollars. Um, you're kind of negative right now, value-wise. Um, what makes this even better is you get Guinevere in this set which is the only set you can find Guinevere in right now. Uh, Guinevere, I think, is around like 10 to $13. She's extremely useful in any fire deck. I think any deck that runs red should definitely use her. Um, so that's already a 10 to $13 card that you're also getting in this 100%. You do only get one copy, but um, I think anyone that has the money to get into Forcible, I definitely recommend getting four of these dual decks if you're starting off, because then you get four Guinevere's. Um, you also get uh, enough Regalias to maybe trade some away, because you get two a box, so you would have eight, so you can trade a playset of each of those away as well. Uh, besides Guinevere, you also get one Percival in the box. Uh, Percival is also a $10 card, so just these two alone, plus the Regalias, you've already paid off the entire box. Uh, Percival is one of the greatest cards in the game right now as well. Um, I talked about this in my uh, pro tip video, but uh, these two are just extremely powerful right now. Uh, Percival is really good. It's, it's only going to get better because it's not going to get reprinted. Uh, Forcible has already stated that uh, anything that comes in this dual deck isn't going to be re um, reprinted anytime soon in the starter decks they're releasing, which I'll get into later as well. But um, so Percival is like around a $13 card. Uh, it, it might be as low as 10 sometimes too, but it keeps fluctuating, but it never goes under 10. Uh, and then you also get Lancelot, and Lancelot's also a $10 card. So these are three cards that all together are anywhere from $30 to $35, if not more. Uh, and you get them all for buying the $25 starter deck. So I don't see why anyone wouldn't just buy the starter decks um, instead of just buying these singles. Uh, some people might not want all of the... I mean, because if you do buy four of the dual decks, you're going to have a lot of spare cards. And it can get a little messy. I've actually met people that said that they'd much rather buy the singles and not have all the extra. But um, I personally didn't mind. I gave them out to friends and uh, people like that that I wanted to help get into the game. So um, I think it's, you know, if you do get all those extra rulers and stuff, that's just more cards you can kind of share with your friends to see if they can get into the game. If they like it, uh, kind of just help practice with them. So I don't see anything wrong with it. But, you know, some people have their just uh, certain ways. So these three cards come in the Alice Duel deck. You get one of each. There's also other great cards in there as well. You get a Gwyber, which is extremely played. Uh, this, of course, got reprinted in SKL, but it's generally a really good card. Flame King Shout also got reprinted in SKL, but it's also a really good card. It's also only been released in um, the Alice Duel deck as well. So that's um, four cards that you can't get anywhere else, which is these four. Uh, I believe there's probably more. They're just not as good. 
but these are four really well played cards. You also don't get Leviathan and Excalibur any, anywhere else either. Um, so this is literally like $40 worth of value, if not more, just for $25. And if you get four of them, the worst case scenario, if you don't like the decks, you practice them and you don't like it, you can sell off the Guinevere's or Percival's and the Lancelot's if you don't plan on playing those colors. I would hold on to them because they do, I think they're extremely important, but if you really just focus on one deck and you don't want to play red or white, uh, you can essentially just uh, sell them off and make all your money back, if not more than what you spent anyway. So I don't think there's any point of why you shouldn't buy four of this if you do have the funds for it. I think this product is 100% just amazing and there's no way I wouldn't. Um, like I would buy four of this again right now just to sell the cards if I had the time. Uh, just because it really is easy to make your money back. I just don't, um, I don't really believe in the whole like um, haggle thing about it anyway. But um, yeah, so this is the Alice Cluster deck. I will put the, put the uh, box opening for it in the description below if you guys want to check that out. And then I'm just going to move on to the next one, which is Vingolf. Uh, Vingolf comes with five rulers. So we have Alexander, <laughs> uh, Julius Caesar, uh, this Minamoto, Hannibal, and Vlad. Uh, these five rulers always come in Vingolf. It's a $40 product, and you do get about half your value back. You can almost make all of it back if you're lucky, but it's not guaranteed. Uh, these five rulers will come in every Vingolf box. It's one of every color, so you, other than Void, of course, and you can, you know, if you are trying to share cards with your friends or play anything like that, you can always share these and, you know, each one of your friends just picks a ruler. It comes with a bunch of resonators, too, you guys can practice with. Uh, the resonators in this set aren't as important. Um, a lot of them are just god-awful. I'm not going to lie and say it's an amazing product when it comes to the resonators. Um, the rulers aren't really competitive as well. Out of all these rulers, only Vlad is the only one seeing competitive play, but it is really good for practice. Not to mention it comes with uh, a Rasputin, which is the only uh, release for this card, which is extremely important in any Cthulhu deck. Uh, Mozart, which is also a really uh, popular card, and uh, Hanzo as well. These three are like the best cards in Vingolf, and you don't get them anywhere else, so it's not bad to get them. And you get two copies of each. And it's also the only place Bonsai Attack has been uh, released, which is also a very powerful red spell. Thunder got released common in here, and this card I think is about like $4 even common, so you get two of these. Everything in one Vingolf box you get two of, so... Um, if you bought two of them, you'd have a playset of everything. And then Stoning to Death came common as well. Uh, this isn't expensive for the foil anymore, but it's always a really good card to have. It saves you having to go out of your way to get it. And then the most important thing about Vingolf is you get two of every single dual stone. So you get a Black Silence, a Blasting Waves, a Gusting Skies, a Magic Stone of Deep Wood, a Heaven's Rift, a Heat Ray, Light Vapors, Hurt Score, Scorched Bales, and Dark Depths. So you get two of each one of these, so if you did buy two Vingolfs, you would have a playset of every single dual stone. That's absolutely ridiculous because some of these dual stones sell for about $150 to $2, and the other ones are all $1. So even if you're counting them all at just $1, and you get two of each, that's $20 alone just for all the dual stones. You then have the Thunder, which you get two of, which is another like $8. So that's $28, so you're only minus about like $12. And then you two stonings, that's a dollar each, that's already $30. And then um, the these are just always really good to have. Not to mention that you do get a you get a special pack in every Vingolf um, box that has five uh, super rares of these cards, and um, not of specifically these three, but uh, you get like an alternative art foil version. You can see that in the box opening for this as well. I'll post both the box openings in the description. But um, you get a uh, alternative art of a random card in the set, and if you happen to hit the alternative art of these three cards. Um, I think Rasputin is about 10, Mozart and Hanzo are around 13 to 15. So if you did get one of those, you literally already paid the box off. So I think both of these products are just insanely good for anyone getting into the game. You get so many cards, so many things that you can share with your friends, which I think is the most important because um, it can kind of suck to play the game alone if you don't have any friends. If you can make friends at locals, that's always really great too. But um, I wasn't able to get all of my friends into Force of Will. I played just with people at locals. And um, at the time when I got into Force of Will in February, there was nothing to kind of buy to kind of convince your friends to play. And so I'm really happy to see that now they have it. Because maybe if this stuff was around back then, I could have gotten my friends to play, but they didn't want to because um, we didn't really have anything back then. So um, these are both really, really good value. I would definitely recommend all of these for um, both of these products for anyone trying to get into the game. Uh, it's, um, other than that, there isn't really much to say. You can pick up the singles for anything that you need for your decks. 
there's always a lot of deck profiles being posted on the Facebook group, so you can check there as well. Uh, the Forcible US, uh, the official Forcible page now, is always really good for deck profiles too. They also have a lot of coverage and stuff, so if you're new, uh, make sure to join the Facebook groups. Make sure to, uh, to check out that site as well. It's not ForcibleTCG.com, uh, it's ForcibleTCG.us. They also have a card database where you can see all the cards, which I, even I actually use all the time. So uh, that's always really good to use as well. And lastly, for the starter decks I mentioned coming out, it's one for Valentina, Arla, Rezard, Machina, and Persia. And Machina is going to be treated as red in that deck. Of course, he's a Void Ruler, but I'm sure they're going to mix it with Void cards. He's going to be the Fire starter, though, because they've already printed Melgus as the Fire one, and Arla's the new Light one other than Faria. So uh, those products seem to be very, very good, too. It says they're targeted strictly for new players. Um, I'm probably still going to be picking up enough to have a place of everything, because like I said, I really like doing that. I'm really, really confident that anyone that's not picking up cards like Cheshire Cat, um, if you're waiting on it, just keep waiting because I'm almost a million percent sure that I, that I don't know why I said almost a million percent. That's kind of ridiculous, but um, almost a million percent sure that Cheshire is going to be reprinted as common in the Valentina deck. If they're trying to get new players to play right before the holidays, I only can imagine that the, the best marketing uh, push they can make is to make common Cheshire. They might go with um, common uh, True Stones as well. They, so you might get like, you know, Mujdar and Almiris and all of those commons in there as well. I don't see why they wouldn't. I think that's just so much value that they can do. So it's such an easy way to get all these players to play the game. So I'm pretty strongly uh, feeling that Cheshire is going to be reprinted. Uh, Feet Sing is being released as the full art for the getting a box of Twilight Wanderer. So Feet Sing is no longer an expensive card either. Uh, Flame of the Outer World is going to be, in my opinion, the only card that's expensive. And it's only around like $8 right now, which I think is great if Feet Sing and Cheshire get reprinted. Which Feet Sing is already confirmed, so we're just waiting on Cheshire. Uh, there is literally not going to be any money cards other than the per uh, Percival and Guinevere and Lancelot, which I just mentioned you get so much value out just by buying the Alice Cluster anyway. So, um... Really stay in tune for those. I'm going to put the description, uh, in the description I mean, I will have the box opening for both of these and then a link for all five of the dual decks. So just check those out if you guys are interested. If you guys have any other questions or you want to ask me anything, either shoot me a message on Facebook or put it in the comment section below. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do because I have a ton of videos coming out soon. I'm getting my wisdom teeth pulled tomorrow, so I don't know when I'm going to be fine by next week to start filming. But I'll keep you guys updated as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.